Alrighty guys, I tore this 372 XP down last night. Uh, I am porting it uh, for a guy that uh, lives about an hour away from me. And uh, I was sitting here working on it, I ain't made much much footage on it. But uh, I figured I'd sh share a tip with you guys now. I've already cut the band and I've already cut the bass. And uh, I cut the, the skirt down, but uh, if you guys have ever, especially if you're using a highway or meteor uh, cylinder and you go to trim the skirt down and you push the tool in and then it catches and it just literally obliterates the, uh, the, the plating. It'll, you know, I've had it blow plating off, clear up almost to the intake before and it just, it, uh, It makes for a bad day. We got it's all aluminum chips uh, inside there. I got to get off yet. But uh, a trick to stop that is come up just short. This is how I like to do it. Just where you start to break through to the plating. See how see how thin that is. And then that way you don't tear the plating off. And then I'll chuck this. Uh, this is a cone-shaped uh, diamond burr. And I can come in and I will use the hand piece. And I will actually physically remove that with uh, WD-40 and diamonds. And I will hand cut that chamfer back in and get rid of that. And then that way you don't blow any plating off. Um, I just thought I... I'd share that little uh, tip with you. I'll probably, after I get this thing, another tip too is if if you're not running a base gasket, uh, you need to know the measurement of your base gasket so you know how much to cut off from the, the bottom of that skirt. And uh, that'll tell you, like, I cut 30 off here but in reality, where's my calipers? In reality, what's this gasket measure? This gasket's 20 thousandths thick, so it's probably 19 or so tightened down. So if I push real hard on the calipers, I can get it down to 19, so 30. So we took 39 thou total, technically, uh, off the the base entirely and then I took I actually took 42 off here I typically like to go a couple extra thou extra on that skirt just to make sure that I I don't bottom anything out or anything like that but if you if you're just, sometimes you got to be careful if you're just doing a base gasket delete because sometimes these skirts can hit uh, but uh, yep so my plan for this one is the chamber cut, base cut. I want to bring the exhaust to 100, 120 on the transfers, 80, or I, I don't know where it's going to land with the the machine work. Uh, it was 72 stock, so I definitely don't want definitely don't want that. There's a lip in here I'll be taking off too, but uh, I'll probably do a shallow lung on this one. Because uh, we're going for maximum durability on on this build. I still want it to zip up good though. So I know the white one uh, is 100 on the roof. I think it was 120 or might have been split. 118, 120. Um, and that thing pulls chain like a mule. So I want this guy to have a good build. So that's what I'm going. Good, good solid work build. But hopefully that tip help helped you guys out um i like to cut that chamfer by hand that way i don't blow plating off uh why risk it if you don't have to so you guys take it easy and have a good one